What's up, eSchool? This is Mr. Howard coming live from his classroom here at Woodland Middle School. Guys, today I'm going to teach you about volume, how to find volume of 3D sheeps. And specifically, we're going to find the volume of a cube and a pyramid today. And I'm going to show you guys with a couple of examples, put it up on the board for you. So to start off right off the bat, the first thing you need to know about volume, let me show you. Volume equals area of the base times the height. In order to find the volume of any shape, you need to know what is the area of its base. And then once you know that, you times it by the height. That's why we've been practicing area this week, okay? So today we're going to do volume of a cube. We're going to use the volume of a cube to help us find the volume of a pyramid. Oh, no, I erased my pyramid. I'll have to get that back up here in a sec, okay? Now, seventh grade, you guys learned how to find the volume of a cube, okay? Volume of a cube is found by taking the length, width, and the height and multiplying it all together. Length times width times height. All right, well, if you look at it, length times width, length times width, well, that's an area. That's the area of the base. So if you go length times width, you're actually finding the area of the base of that shape. Okay, so you go length times width, that gives you the area of the bottom, and then you times it by the height to find the volume. So therefore, volume of a cube is exactly the same as the volume of any shape. You just find the area of its base and times it by the height. Now, let's talk about a pyramid here. Okay, so we got a pyramid just like that. And a pyramid also has a length, width, and a height. However, a pyramid does not have the same volume of a cube. So we're gonna use this thing over here. We're gonna use this. I got a cube right here. I've got a pyramid right here. And I'm gonna show you the relationship between a cube and a pyramid and how they're connected using some water and some bowls here. I got, I got a couple work here. I'm gonna show you guys how they're connected. Now, let's note, the pyramid and the cube have the same height, the same length, length and the same width. All right, so you guys ready for this? I'm gonna start showing you guys how these are connected. I'm gonna take the water, I'm gonna pour it through this funnel into the pyramid. Then I'm gonna take the pyramid and put it in the cube and you guys are gonna see the relationship between these two. So let's get to work here, let's get started here. I'm gonna start pouring water inside of this pyramid. I got it standing there because you can't really stand it up by itself. So I'm filling up some water here. Almost got it to the tip. It's about to overflow. Looks like I need to kind of push it to the side here. I'm going to get it all. There we go. I'm going to push it to the side. I'm going to fill it up. I need it overflowing with water all the way. All those air bubbles are out. Boom. See all that water? There we go. We got too much. Too much. All right. So we take this funnel. Bam. What do you guys think? You guys think it's going to be two? Two pyramids? Four pyramids? Five? Three? What do you guys think? Start pouring this in there. satisfying to watch actually all right there's one there's one what do you guys think that's one pyramid inside the cube so obviously one pyramid does not equal one cube right kind of probably figured that out already let's get to work at filling it up again i gotta switch this around i can't even get to it got water everywhere here we go here we go No, tips like that? Gotta stop tipping like that. Getting all crazy. Okay, there's one. There's one here. I need some more water. Need more water. Right, I got a bowl. See that I got a bowl here. Fill it all the way up. One. Nice and full. Bam, it's overflowing. It's overflowing. We got too much water. Too much water. One. All right, here goes another one. Here goes another one. What do you guys think? You think this is going to be the last one? Is it going to fill it all the way up? Dump it all in. There it all goes. There it all goes right there. Oh, it didn't fill it all the way up. It's not two. It's not two. What do you guys think? Three? Four? All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Last one, maybe. Last one, maybe. Here we go. Take this water and just start dumping it in. I think I got enough. Man, I need to make a YouTube channel, don't I? Look at this. I can see money. 
money. Okay, getting almost all the way full. There we go. Okay, now I take it over here. I'm gonna pour it in. What do you guys think? You think this will be the last one? Let's find out. I'm gonna drop. It. I'm gonna drop it. Start pouring it in. Start pouring it in. I can't get a grip here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Boom! Perfect. If you notice, how many was that? One, two, three pyramids. Three pyramids fit inside of one cube. So therefore, if the volume of the cube is length times width times height, well then the volume of a pyramid, the volume of a pyramid is also going to be length times width times height. But, however, how many pyramids fit inside of that cube? One, two, three of them. So length times width times height divided by three. Volume of a pyramid is length times width times height divided by three because three pyramids fit inside of one cube. So let's do some math. If this is two by five by 10 feet, right? Two by five by 10 feet. Well, two times five, two times five times 10. 10 times 10 is 100 cubic feet. That's how you find the volume of a cube with a length of two, width of five, and a height of 10. Well, let's look at this. If I made this pyramid be three by two by 10, okay? Length times width times height divided by three. Three times two times 10. 3 times 2 times 10 divided by 3. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 10 is 60. 60 divided by 3 is 20. Therefore, that pyramid has a volume of 20 cubic feet if I was to make these dimensions in feet. All right? There you guys have it. That's how you find volume. Now get to work practicing this. Try this out. Length times width times height. Length times width times height divided by three. See you guys.